Hello, I'm Sharon Phillips. Here's a look at some of today's top stories from 2 News Oklahoma. Real, plastic, pre-lit, or plain. If you're looking to deck your halls with a Christmas tree this winter, you might want to think ahead. A nationwide shortage in trees could make them more expensive and harder to come by. So 2 News sat down with the Owasso Christmas Tree in Berry Farm. Owner Bill Jacobs says despite cutbacks and growing issues from suppliers in North Carolina and Oregon, his farm isn't really seeing a shortage, but the prices are going up. He's paying 40% more in in some cases so that Christmas centerpieces may cost you just a bit more this year. And your students may have to learn more about the history of Thanksgiving in school soon. Just a day before the holiday, Senator Nathan Dahm of Broken Arrow filed a bill that would require students to read five Thanksgiving proclamations, one that established a day of thanks in 1777 and others by Presidents Washington, Roosevelt and Reagan. Well, just in time for the holidays and in the spirit of giving, DeLease Brothers Company has made big donations to four rural fire departments. The company donated Peterbilt cabin chassis so the departments can redo trucks and turn them into water supply tankers. Canute, Turley, Meeker and Rush Creek Fire Departments will all get the donations. And take a look at this. BMX racers taking to the track for practice this afternoon. The BMX Grand National is returning to Tulsa for its 24th consecutive year. The races will be at the SageNet Center in Expo Square starting tomorrow and ending on the 28th. All right, let's take a look at your 10 day forecast. You can see Thursday we're going to hit around 49 degrees. Friday looking great, 60 degrees and sunny. And then Saturday, 64 degrees. So it looks like it's going to be warming up and uh, we've got some great weather ahead of us. Hopefully we can get through tonight because we will have some wind and possibly some storms, but it's supposed to clear out for your Thursday at Thanksgiving. So that is a look at some of the stories making headlines. Stay with 2 News Oklahoma for updates. We'll see it.